Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how you can make a menu strip in your C-Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application. Now, not long ago we did a video with something similar, which is called a context menu strip, which is a menu that you can hover over a control like a text box or an image box or whatever, and right click on that and it will bring up a menu that you can select from and do things. What we're going to talk about today is a main menu strip and how you can add that to your application. So a great example of a menu strip is if you're in Visual Studio, you can look at the top here and this is a menu strip. You've got file, edit, view, git, project, and you've probably seen this a million times before in different applications. So for example, file, you click on that, you've got a sub item of new and then you've got a sub sub item of project with three dots so that goes out and does something else it makes a new project and open and add and close and exit and there's many different menu items here and lots of sub items and thankfully it's really easy to do this um, you basically are just going to have to define each one and then very quickly and easily you can make an event and an event handler for each one of those so that when you select it, it will go to that event handler and you can add some code to do whatever you want. So really pretty straightforward. So here's our brand new c -sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application with a blank form. And in the code itself, all I've done is added a system.io because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a file open menu item that's going to open a file. We're going to need that system.io for that. And then I've just added a simple method that's going to be called when I select that open file from the menu. And it's going to call this read file method, give it a directory, and read the file in and return a string with all the file contents. And this is pretty straightforward. It's just an open file dialog. Um, you can pause and copy. We've done this many times before. We've got a filter. And if the dialog result is OK, we read the file into a string and return that as a string. So now how do you add a menu strip to your application? Well, in the design, we've got our form. We'll go to toolbox and scroll down to menu strip. And we're going to add that and we can put it up here. You can see it automatically places it. And here is our menu strip. And we can type our first command, which is file. And here we've got a sub item, which is open. And that open, when we select that, it's going to bring, our, bring up our open file dialog and open the file. Now to generate an event handler, all we have to do is double click on this. And you can see we've got an open tool strip menu item. So the menu item that says open, when you select that, it will jump here to this event handler. And all we have to do here is reference that read file method and it will go and do the open file dialog. So I'm going to say string result equals read file and I'm going to choose D documents then frequency events. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a breakpoint here at this event handler and check to see what our result is. So I'm going to start file open it leads us to this dDocuments frequency events. I'm going to select one. It's a CSV file. And we've stopped here. And our result is, as you can see, it's one big string with numbers and carriage return line feed and then another set of numbers and so on. So it successfully used that menu strip item. Now we can go in and we can add in a similar way. We can add another sub item. Or we can add sub sub items by typing it in here. And then once we've got that, we just double click to generate the event handler. So really pretty straightforward. And of course, you can just keep adding. You can add another main item up here and then sub items and so on. But the basic process is the same. So that's about it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.